everyone this is jemima from bombay tool supply agency private limited india welcome to another vlog in today's vlog we'll be learning about adjustable micrometers we have already discussed about how to use micrometers and about a base principle if you want to know more about using a micrometer the link is available in the description below for a demonstration i have taken 104135a model which has the measuring range of 0 to 150 mm it is designed for fast easy and precision measuring of large components having dimensions above 100 mm it may be noted that it is impossible to check the zero reading by bringing the two measuring faces into contact when you look into the parts of the adjustable micrometer generally five standards varying in length in step of 25 mm is provided All these rods are provided with ebonite pads in order to prevent the transfer of heat from operator's hand. In order to increase the utility of instrument to cover wide range of measurements, adjustable anvils are also provided. I have used a Jafuji micrometer stand to mount the micrometer. Before using a micrometer, wipe off any oil or dust from the measuring face, anvil, and the micrometer setting rod with a soft lint-free cloth. To verify that our micrometer reads correctly, the setting standards are provided. Do not set the nominal value which is on the micrometer setting standard. Instead, set the calibrated value which is in the certificate. By using the setting rod, ensure the zero setting of the micrometer. While fixing the interchangeable anvils, make sure that both slots meet each other and tighten the anvil properly using the screw head. Now let's measure a 10 mm component. Use a constant force device like the ratchet to apply a constant measuring force. It reads 10 mm. The thimble scale can be read directly to 10 micron but may be estimated to 1 micron when the lines are coincident because the line thickness is 1/5 of the spacing between them. While measuring, make sure that the fiducial line is parallel to the eye level. If not, it will lead to parallax error. Avoid sudden temperature variation of the micrometer. Leave it in a room for a sufficient time to adjust to the room temperature. While mounting the micrometer on a stand, fix the micrometer in correct position. I hope this video was informative. I'll come up with another interesting video. Subscribe to our channel and visit our website www.btsa.in.